Welcome to our orphanage. Hi. Hi. So, are you two here to adopt children? That's right. No, we're here to take them away from you. What else do we do here besides adopt them? I'm sorry, what were you saying, Troy? Um, nothing, Dad. Okay then, let's go inside. So do you want to adopt a boy or a girl? Well, my wife always wants to have a daughter. This is so boring. I'm gonna watch something around here. Okay, just don't come far from us. Yes, Mom. What's a stunning bracelet? I wish I could wear this all day long. Oh, wow. What's a nice bracelet you have? Oh, um, thanks. Who are you? Are you a new orphan child? Oh, it's not. My parents are over there. We're here to adopt. Back to Troy's parents. Martha, come over here for a moment, please. I have a surprise for you. I'm here. So this is Martha. I think she will be the one suit your family. Look, she is so cute and adorable. What are you gonna say? Agree? If you're fine with her, I will be fine with her. Agree. That would be so great. I will do the adoption registration. Please, come into my room. We will sign some papers. Oh, sure. Martha, you can pack your things and say goodbye to your friends. You're gonna be adopted now. Okay. Hey, Vanessa. Do you see my bracelet? I can't find it anywhere. I'm leaving here. I don't know, but I think this boy took it. He looks so suspicious. What? He's an outsider. Hey, boy. Return it back to me. Oh, hey, hey. And steal anything. There must be misunderstanding. Stop lying. They belong to me. Give it back to me. Hey, stop it. I didn't steal anything. Your friend is lying. No, I believe her more than you. Um, I don't want to get involved in. I'm getting out of here. Stop this craziness. You're overreacting. It's your friend. I just saw her wearing it. Ouch. Why did you push me? Hey, hey. What the heck is going on here? This girl over here. She is crazy. Hey, don't call her crazy, and her name is Martha. No, I'm only crazy because you stole my bracelet. That's all I have left from my family. What, did you steal them? Martha is the one going crazy. She hates me. You can search me if you want. Okay, let me check on you. Does this belong to you? Yes, that's my bracelet. What? How can it be in my pocket? I swear I didn't steal that bracelet. Here's your bracelet, Martha. And you, young man, we will have a serious conversation at home. We just adopted Martha, she will be a part of our family, and you already did something bad to her. No, I swear, it was her friend did this to me. No talking, get on the car right now. This is so ridiculous. Troy, wait. Troy, get back here immediately. No, Dad, you're choosing her over me. You believed her more than me. And we just adopted her. Hey, that's enough. I don't want any fighting in my family. Martha is the one that going crazy, not me. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yeah, then explain the bracelet in your pocket. And do not raise your voice at me. How many times do I have to tell you, it didn't do that? And Martha is overreacting with attitude. I will get it from Martha's perspective. She's just meeting a new family. And you're being impossible, making her feel unwelcome. What? What about mine? Don't you dare interrupt me. Stop. I don't want any of this to happen. I just want to feel like this is a home. I can't bear with all this fighting. Sweetie, it will be okay. You don't have to worry that much. Okay, everyone should be calmed down. Troy, why don't you show your sister to her room? All right, fine. Follow me. I guess this is where you will be staying. You. Am I right next to your room? Huh. What do you expect? It's not like we live in a big castle. Ugh. This is awful. I don't want to be next to the person who I hate. The heck? Why did you hate so much? We literally just met. Before I knew you, 
I was so excited to get to know you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm tired of listening and I'm going to bed now. Get the hell out of my room. Fine, do whatever you want. The next day. Troy, Martha, you two come down for breakfast and be ready for school. Yes, Mom. So are you two ready? I'm ready. Troy, take her to new school. You will give her a tour. Okay, Dad. Let's go, Martha. Well, here it is. This will be your new school. It's not that bad, right? Come on, I will show you around. Wait, why is everyone looking at me like that? Well, you're the new girl in school, obviously. I just hate people staring at me like I'm a freak. You will be fine. They will forget in a couple days. Don't worry about it. Class is about to start in a minute. We'd better go now. Oh my god. What? You did what? You wet the bed last night? You, gross. Why did you even tell me this? What? Martha, what are you saying? Are you crazy? Ha ha ha. Troy wet the bed. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. Um no, I didn't do anything. Martha, why did you say that? After the school, Troy went home. I can't believe her. She is so crazy. I'd better go inside the house. Troy, why are you home from school alone? Where is Martha? You left her at school? Because of her, Martha. Ugh, not this again. Yes, this again. She completely made me fool of me in front of the whole school. They were laughing at me all day. What did she do? I'm sure it cannot be that bad. She started a rumor that I wet bed. I thought you stopped doing that when you were eight. No, Dad. She was telling a lie. She just hates me and talks nonsense about me. We're never gonna get along together. You're never gonna get along with me? That's what you really think. Troy, look what have you done now. You made Marthy upset. What? Where did you come from? Troy, I don't accept your attitude. Where did you get that attitude? You need to learn it carefully. What's wrong with my attitude? Come on, my attitude is totally fine. It's all about her fault. No more talking, Troy. You need to watch how you talk to your new sister. Now apologize to her immediately. Ugh, you guys didn't even listen to me. I'm not apologizing anything. Troy, where are you going? Let him be, he will come home anyway. So, do you want me to make you some milkshake? Yeah, I'd love milkshake. You should try, Martha, her milkshake is the best. No, I don't want milkshake. I will go to my room now. Well, we just need more time for her. She will feel our love soon. I hope you're right. I need to relax my mind. Playing game is a good idea. Just need a little time away from Martha. She is so annoying. Dang it. Hey man, what are you doing here? Chad, hey man, long time no see. It's been a long time since I've seen you playing games. Yeah, I feel so stressful. Let me guess, is that because of the incident at school? Yeah, I heard it, that fatal. Yeah, I can't believe she actually said that. So, is that really true? That you're a bedwetter? What? No, of course not. She is a liar, and the moment we first met at the orphanage, she already branded me a thief, but I even didn't do anything. And now, she hates me for no reason. You know, I'm adopted too. It wasn't easy for me to join a new family at first. You never really know what's going on in someone else's life. Wait, Chad, you're adopted? Why didn't you say anything about this? Well, now you know. I still remember the day coming to the new family. I was really scared, I didn't know what to do, and I certainly can't get along with them. I felt so depressed at the time and I had no one to share with, but eventually, I met a nice family and they helped me through it. Whoa, I never really looked at it from her perspective. I mean what she did might not please you, but if you can try and see it from her perspective, maybe you can understand why she did that. Wow, thanks Chad, you really have experience at this. Okay, I, I will give another chance. Thanks, man. It's really nice to talk to you. At home. 
I hope Martha and I can get along soon. Where is everyone? Guys, anyone is home? Shut up. You're making too much noise. Oh, hey, Martha. Where are mom and dad? They're out. Okay, so are you busy tonight? I don't know. Why? Well, I wonder if maybe you and I can go out for dinner. That's the way we can actually get to know each other. What? Go out for dinner with you? Why should I do that? We're family now, and I know we didn't have a really good start. And now, I want to have a second chance to make it right. Come on, let's go. Ugh, whatever. I will go, but you're the one paying the food. Okay, I will pay the food. Here is the cafe that my friends used to come over. You must try spaghetti here. It's the best. What are you trying to do, exactly? I'm just trying to have a real conversation with you. We're brother and sister now, right? Here are two glasses of water on the menu. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Why are you doing that? Oops, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to. I slipped. No, you didn't. You did it on my purpose, didn't you? I'm leaving. Yep. I tried so hard to give her another chance. I was just nice to her, and she couldn't do the same for me. I don't know what her problem is, but I'm going to teach her a lesson. This is for making fun of me. What the hell, Troy? Ah, uh, finally, you're home. I'm so done with you, Martha. You can't do this. This is my room. Get out of here right now. We're home. What is that noise? Whoa, whoa. What is all of this? Troy, did you do it all by yourself? Yes, I did it. So what? Oh my god, I can't believe you. Your attitude is out of my control. Yeah, because of Martha. She has completely embarrassed me and ruined my life. No more talking. You are so grounded. No. Don't you dare say no to me. I'm gonna sleep at Chad's house until you realize who the real problem is. Come on, pick up the phone, bro. Hey, what's up, man? I just got into a trouble with my family. Is it alright if I can stay at your place tonight? Huge argument with parents, huh? Yeah, it's bad. Dude, you can always sleep at my house. I'm always welcome you. Thanks, Chad. I'm on my way to your home now. The next day. So what happened last night? I tried to do just like what you said. I tried to be nice to her, tried to have a real conversation with her. But she's just like boom. Everything went bad. Well, my advice is you have to be more patient with her. I don't know. I tried my best. Sometimes, they're so stubborn and annoying. Just give them more time. I'm tired with her. Well, I'm just saying that. I'm speaking from my own experience. Okay, final chance for her. But I'm going home now. See ya. Hey, Troy. Oh, hi, Enid. It's nice to see you. It's good to see you too. Is everything okay with you? You seem a bit isolated with everyone. Yeah, if you have noticed, my family just adopted my new sister. And she has screwed up my whole family, me mostly. It seems very usually for me. That's a classic sibling for you. Really? That's true. I have an older brother and he's so mean to me most of the time. But just ignore him and I will totally be fine. I know, but it's just not like that. You and your brother are real brothers and sisters. It will be much easier to have their sympathy and a chance to do it again. And Martha and I, we aren't real brothers. I barely know about her but I did try to get to know her. She won't even give me an opportunity to do that. Well, I think you can ask one of her friends or someone else that knows her. Okay, I think it's a good idea. Thanks, Enid. I really appreciate your helping. No problem. Glad I can help you with that. And by the way, you're here now. I wonder that if maybe, I, I don't know, you and I should hang out sometime? Um, yeah. That would be fun. So how about tonight? Great. I will see you at the cafe. See ya. Now need to find someone who knows about Martha. Maybe I can start the orphanage first. The manager will know something.
Excuse me, hi, ma'am. Who are you? Can I help you? About that, my family and I just adopted Martha. Yep, you can't return her. What? You heard me, no return. Your parents singed the contract, remember? Oh, no, no, we're not gonna return her. I just have some questions about her past. Okay, what do you need to know? She's kinda a mean person, and I'm trying to get to know her. It's not easy at all. Was she mean to everyone here, too? Of course, and she did everyone here terribly. So it's just not me, then. Do you know what turns her into this? She had a very hard past. It's very easy to understand why she acts like that. Kids her age can't avoid acting in a negative way. Can you tell me more specifically? Well, since I have free time, it will be easier to show you. Um, okay. They go to the cemetery. An hour later. Well, you can see it now. Wow, I can't believe this. If it was me, I couldn't take it either. No kid in the world have to suffer this pain. What happened? As far as I know, it was huge tragic. It all happened ten years ago when she was six. There are lovely family living in the apartment. But suddenly, there was a fire coming out of nowhere. The fire alarm system is not working. Many people in the building could not get out in time. Martha's parents died trying to save her. She blamed herself for their death even it wasn't her fault. God, I feel so horrible for her. She was so young back then. Maybe she's too sensitive to family love that she can't feel it anymore. Well, thank you for showing me this. I need to see her. Later at night, at home. Oh my god, Troy, where have you been all day long? Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't know it was that late. I'm tired now. I will go rest. You should go rest too, Mom. Good night, Mom. Okay, good night, son. No, please. What happened? Martha, are you okay? Martha, I'm going in. Probably she has nightmare. Mom, Dad, I will get you out of here. Martha, you need to get out of here right now. No, I won't leave you two behind. There is no time. The fire is spreading. You need to get out of here as soon as possible. Everyone should get out of here right now. Hey, young man. Take my daughter out of here right now. What about you two? We will catch up later now. Please. Okay, little girl. I will get you out of here. No. You have to save my mom and dad. I will be back to them later. And now, I need you to be a good girl. Okay? Okay. Hurry. There is no time. Okay. No. I have to go in there. I'm sorry. You can't go. It's too dangerous. Martha, are you okay? Are you having nightmare? Troy, what are you doing in my room? Oh, I heard you screaming, and I wanted to make sure you're okay. Get out of my room. No, I won't go anywhere until you say something to me. I'm your brother now. We're a family. My parents love you. I love you. It's our duty to make everyone feel at home. So come on, just talk to me. No, get out of here. I know about your parents, Martha. I did some research, and I found out what happened to your family. What? You're so creepy. You have no right to do that. What is the matter with you? I'm sorry for all that stuff that happened to you, okay? And it's not your fault that you can't save them. You did everything you could. Stop blaming yourself and open your heart to us. You don't know anything. You're right, I don't know anything about this. Please talk to me so I can understand you. You gotta move on, you just can't live in the past forever. You had the opportunity to make everything exactly as you always wanted to. A family loves you, Martha. Me, mom and dad love you. Just please don't push us away. Hey, hey, please, don't cry. No. You're right. I always push everyone around me away. I've blamed myself for their deaths for a long time, and I can't put it away. Hey, hey, it's midnight. What's going on here? 
I'm trying to sleep. Martha, what happened to you? Did Troy hurt your feelings? No, Dad. He tried to comfort me. We're just having a real conversation as brother and sister. Wow, you two are already getting along? I'm so glad. Yes, and I'm opening my heart with everyone now. I don't want to push you guys away from me anymore. I will treat you as my family now. Thank you for adopting me as your daughter. It's nothing. We're happy to see you as my daughter. Okay, we're all happy to see you as a new member of our family. But the most important thing right now. I'm very sleepy during the conversation and I really need to go to bed. Oh. oh. Okay, then see you two tomorrow morning. Night, Mom. Night, Dad. Good night, both of you. The end.